Hi, welcome back to Cecily's Studio YouTube channel. And this is what I was working on yesterday. And then I started to add some windows and doors. And then I made this into a table. So let me talk about that. Um, we're going to continue to use the vanishing point. So I'm going to drop my line down like that, a straight line, vertical line. And then I'm going to line up the top to the vanishing point. But instead of going the entire way, I'm going to stop. So just the ruler gave me the angle that I needed, and then I'm going to drop my line down like that. So you can continue working on this yourself. Um, if you wanted to do a window, you could drop your line down, line it up with the vanishing point, and then I just did a little dot here and a little dot there. So I have two windows, and I'm going to do my vertical lines, but I'm not sure where the top is going to be. And that's because it's going back into space. It's vanishing to the vanishing point. And this is normal view. So this is just a regular rectangle, right? And this is what I did with the vanishing point. But this is this normal view. I'm just going to do a little line here and here. And then a little line above it. Looking, making sure my ruler is straight up and down. It's um, horizontal that time. And then drop my lines down to end it. Okay, so what I did here was, and we can do it in reverse, you're just not going to get to see the top, um, but that's okay. Let's, just, let's have the table flying in the air upside down. How about that? So we're doing reverse. So basically, I followed this along here so that I thickened the legs. So the legs are now thick, like that. And then what I'm going to do is I had this line going back to the vanishing point. So line this up, kind of guesstimate where you want this thickness for your table to be and bring it down. Then I want this to be thick here. And just like this is straight, this needs to be straight. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a little line here. Actually, this angle is correct, but this angle needs to be straight here. Hold on, let me get rid of that. So we've got this angle here. I haven't done an upside down table before. <laughs> so there we go. Now, I don't think we'll get to see the back leg. Oh, maybe a little bit. So here's the corner. The leg would be coming out somewhere here. And then you just scoot this over. So the back leg our back leg would be right there. And it looks a little weird, but let's put it upside down. That looks better for a table, right? Or whatever you want it to be. So, let's make some furniture. And um, let's make the vanishing point high up, right? Because that's the eye. The eye is um, looking down on furniture. And this time I'm gonna do more rectangles and I can add to my rectangle too. So this is gonna be relatively skinny here. And then I'm gonna make a, oh, that's kind of crooked, but that's all right. Um, a B or a D, depending on which way you want to do it. This is gonna be a chair. And then I'm going to make a table here. Now, as you get right below the vanishing point, you really don't see much. It's interesting because you, it's really one-sided. My favorite is two-point perspective, and I'll get to that later. But one-point perspective um, is, is helpful. So there's my box, there's my B, okay? And then let's go ahead and randomly make I'm not sure which, what this will be. We'll decide later. But it is important to make sure your lines are straight up and down, which I have not been being careful with. And so let's go ahead and bring this across here. So using the vanishing point, we're going to get all our angles. But it's really best to um, not draw your lines all the way to the vanishing point. So what I mean by that is we're going to line these up to the vanishing point here, but you're not going to take the, the line all the way because then you're going to spend your whole time like that erasing and erasing and erasing and erasing. And I want this to become a chair. So it will cut through the um, table, that's okay. 
and so I've got all my lines now going to the vanishing point. Now I want to decide where I want to end it. So I want to end it a little bit short. It's foreshortened, right? Foreshortened means that we know it's really wide, but because of where it's located, uh, we have to make the thickness very thin, and then it makes sense. So we've got this going on here. Drop your line down, and then we can thicken the legs here, and thicken the chair. And I'm going to erase my extra lines um, so you can see that once you choose, it's you, you're choosing what you want it to look like. So let's go ahead and do a line here. And get a line here to the vanishing point to thicken this. So we're really dealing with more IKEA style furniture or um, shaker, just really cl clean classic lines, modern, simple nothing twirly and fancy this will be our table so i'm going to just follow along and try to make the thickness about the same and then i'm really not going to see much of the tabletop because it's pretty high up so again that foreshortening means that you don't want it i'll just show you what it looks like it looks awkward you're giving way too much information to the viewer the viewer is like that's one really long table and it doesn't look right. It looks awkward, right? So you want to close it in. And what I do is I just kind of hide that line and then I erase. So I'm holding the ruler down when I have something I want to erase and I just hide that line. So now it looks fine, correct? Yeah, it looks better. So can we get to see the... Yes, we can. So I've lined this angle up, right, for the end of the the um, table's leg, the back leg, and then I would draw kind of imaginary line here, and that's really where that would be. But this one is right underneath the vanishing point. It's a sliver, and you're not gonna get to see it. It's actually hidden behind this, because this is right now normal view. So the only back leg you're gonna get to see is this one, and we'll go ahead and do that. Bring this over, and then erase this. Perspective is a puzzle. You gotta get all the little pieces together. So it looks awkward, but that's how it is. This is what is happening because once it's behind, once it's right underneath the um, vanishing point, there's no side to it. This is just normal view. So let's make this into, um, it could be a sofa, and it could be a couch, or it could be a bed. It's just gonna look funny. So this is just practicing right now. This is not trying to make something perfect. Because as you make a few of these, then you'll say, oh, okay, now I know how to do this. Oh, okay, right, now I'm, I'm comfortable with this. And now I'm ready to start my final picture. And then you can just also look around for ideas, Googling, one point perspective. And there's a plethora of ideas out there. So that's what I do if it would, were to become a bed doesn't look like anything much right now is I turn my line here like that and then I'm going to find where it ends by lining up with a vanishing point from one end what I would think is a bed <laughs> it's kind of not um, to the other and then turn my lines here and then that looks like a pillow right kind of maybe sort of yes so if I wanted it to look more like a bed, I'm just gonna have to lower this, unless someone really has a huge headboard, which is fine. It works, so I'm gonna lower it. But this, oh, oh, I know what I'm doing, this is awesome. This is going to be a bookcase. So let's go ahead and have that. I do know that some headboards are have like a bookshelf on it. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to go ahead and make this plank, right? Really, that it was that moment right there, you know, you're thinking, oh, I just messed this up, or oh, why did I do this? That moment is being an artist. <laughs> just working with the information that you have. So that looks kind of cool. So now you, have, you can place some books there. This looks a little awkward. It can go behind it, or you can end it and just do this here, and it can have another shelf. So work with your mistakes, what you think might be a mistake, I know you've heard that before. Um, and use your imagination, and it's amazing 
like I've never done that one before. If I wanted it solid wood, I'd erase this. There. So thank you so much for tuning in. This is Cecily Studio YouTube channel, and I'm hoping to do some more furniture, and then after I do different kinds of furniture, or what is in a room, then I'll put it in a room, show you how to make the room, and then put it all together. So I appreciate you all, and subscribe and like. Thank you.